Hello! Today I have for you a modest pen from uh, my collection. It is uh, quite a rare brand from uh, East Germany, Deutsche Demokratische Republik or German Democratic Republic. It is a small pen from the 1950s and it's called Makeba 340. Where Makeba comes from uh, Max, Kern and Bautzen. So I believe that uh, they are the initials of the founders of this uh, company. So this uh, German, uh, East German uh, fountain pen producer was um, taken over by Markant in 1956. The East European producer Markant has a history that begins in 1922 when Gerhard Johannes Quaz opens a factory in the Spree Valley. This factory produced fountain pens. In 1948, the company was nationalized as VIB Fountain Pen Factory in Swingwinds and mainly produce fountain pens, propelling pencils, pencils, writing sets, and linear nibs. It uh, became a sub-brand of Markant and did its uh, existence in 1992. So this is the short uh, history lesson. This is the pen. It's quite a small fountain pen. As um, you can see, the only identification is this imprinted um, Makeba 340 on the cap of the pen. You also see that the cap band, the original cap band is missing. It has one breather hole, which was uh, specific to that period and was um, useful for equalization of the pressurization of the fountain pen. So this is a quite small fountain pen. I will compare it with um, a newer and a contemporary Pelican M150 and with the big uh, Pelican M800 and with Lamy 2000. So you can see the proportions. You can see that the Makeba is quite a small fountain pen. I think this pen was intended for uh, students because it's um, quite uh, cheap. It has, um, it is a piston filler. With this uh, fake cap, we have a screw on cap, so it unscrews and it reveals this steel nib, which has an interesting imprint on it. I believe it's a horse on two legs or a bear on two legs. And of course, the feed, it's a simple feed, as you can see. So we have this interesting um, transparent ink window and quite interesting this cork. You can see it has not one but three elements on it. So it's quite uh, hermetical. You won't find any ink behind the um, cork. So when we pull the ink it draws the ink and practically this is uh, the system so you can see no um, fancy gold uh, um, trimmings the only decorative element is this um, ring at the base of the 
please stay tuned for a uh, writing sample with uh, this uh, little fountain pen. So this is the writing sample. We are using the Parker Queen. And practically, we are opening this fake cap. After that, we unscrew the piston till it reaches the base. Okay. Now, we will submerge the fountain pen in the ink bottle and make sure that the breathing hole is uh, submerged in the ink. Here we go. And now we unscrew in the other direction the piston and it will draw the ink. Okay. Now we gently scrub the pen with the to make some economy on the ink. After that, we take a tissue and we um, wipe clean the fountain pen. We put the cap on the bottle to avoid any kind of incident with the ink. Okay, now you can see that the barrel, the ink window is completely full of ink. And um, after we unscrew back the fake cap, we are ready for a test, a writing test with the Makeba. Let's see. So this is a Makeba 340. This comes from East Germany I believe that it, this model came from the early 1950s so I believe uh, it is prior to 1956 when the Makeba which stands for Max Burn and Bautzen okay was um, incorporated in the Marcant factory. in Zinkwitz. I This is a steel nib. You can see it has some problems with the um, ink flow. I don't know. It, uh, you see, you saw that it skips. I believe this is an M, a medium nib, I will try to do some line variation with it, so it has a little flex, hmm. interesting flex, it writes quite um, Maybe even a broad nib, I don't know. But it's uh, quite a good uh, writer. Uh, in spite of being an entry level model, it is quite, quite a nice pen. Yes, and it has a, a nice uh, flow. Now I'm going to drain this uh, fountain pen and I wanted to show you how efficient this uh, free 
parts uh, knob is plastic knob look at it so you can see that the the ink is uh, falling into the ink bottle and after that it remains quite a clear ink window behind the cork the special cork of this pen so it's quite efficient let's uh, draw it back yes it leaves marks but you can see that behind those uh, little rings there is no chance that the ink will go behind those rings because it's got one ring two rings three rings so it has like uh, three layers three protective gates and there is no chance that the ink will ever uh, go behind those um, let's call them triple corks so i hope you've enjoyed my little review with the makeba 340 thank you for your time and have a nice day